Scholars, this is Miss C, and it is so good to see you today. We are going to be working on a words will activity during our lesson. Materials. You will need a paper and pencil for our learning today. We have two new learning targets for our lesson. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can identify two syllable of words spelled with A in a shared text. The second learning target says, I can read, identify the of sound and spell two syllable of words spelled with A. Read aloud. We are going to read a poem together today called Come Along. Make sure you listen for words that may have something in common. Here we go. Come along to the zoo. There's so much to see. Things to amaze, I know you'll agree. What comes from China with black and white fur? A panda, you say. Oh yes, that's for sure. What similarities did you notice in many of these words? I notice a lot of words that have the swa sound, uh. Remember, a swa sound is when a vowel doesn't sound like it's supposed to. It's distorted and hard to tell which vowel it is. Often, a swa sound sounds like uh. I hear the uh sound in the words along, amaze, agree, china, and panda. Let's keep reading to see if we hear even more words with the uh sound. Across the way, we can see lions awake. They look so regal over there by the lake. And who's from the tundra where it always stays cold? That baby white polar bear who is just one year old. I hear a lot more words with the uh sound. I have the words across, awake, Regal, and Tundra. Let's keep reading to see if we can spot out more words with the uh sound. The otters do not like to play all alone. They're swimming around and under that stone. So many animals and so much to see. Come along to the zoo, come along with me. I see alone, around, animals, and along. But I want us to read this part one last time. And this time I want our focus to be on being fluent readers. Don't forget to read smoothly, with expression, with meaning, and at just the right speed. Here we go. The otters do not like to play all alone. They're swimming around and under that stone. So many animals and so much to see. Come along to the zoo, come along with me. That sounds much better. Transition song. Can you take a closer look, a closer look, a closer look? Can you take a closer look at these words today? Word work. We are going to investigate some more swap words like the ones we heard so much in our poem. As you saw, the uh sound can come at the beginning or the end of two syllable words. We will decide where the swa sound is in each word and put them in the correct columns. We will also write down the word, so be sure to have your paper and pencil ready. Here's our first word. Avoid. Is there a swa sound at the beginning or end of the word avoid? Avoid has the swa sound at the beginning. Say it with me, avoid. Go ahead and write down the word avoid on your paper. Let's try another word. We have the word yoga. Does yoga have the swa sound at the beginning or end of the word? 
Yoga has the swa sound at the end of the word. Go ahead and say this word with me again. Yoga. Go ahead and write down the word yoga on your paper. Here's our next word. Tuba. Does tuba have the swa sound at the beginning or the end? Tuba has the schwa sound at the end. Go ahead and say this word again. Tuba. Awesome. Write down the word tuba on your paper. Here's our next word. Awake. Does awake have the swa sound at the beginning or the end of the word? Awake has the schwa sound at the beginning this time. Go ahead and say that word again. Next, I want you to write down the word awake on your paper. Our next word says final. Does final have the swa sound at the beginning or end of the word? Final has the swa sound at the end of the word. Go ahead and say that word again. Next, write the word final on your paper. Here is our last word. Amaze. Does amaze have the swa sound at the beginning or end of the word? Amaze has the swa sound at the beginning of the word. Go ahead and repeat that word again. Next, I want you to write down the word amaze on your paper. Once you're finished, go ahead and give yourself a celebration for all your hard work. Closing Reflection What did you do today that is helping you become a more independent reader? You did a great job reading and writing swa words. Keep up the great work and I can't wait to see you next.